Hello, welcome to AeroSwift channel. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model the RB3 element in the Codaster using the Salome Mecca. The problem is same as the previous tutorial in my channel, which is a small plate uh, subjected to an axial load. But in this uh, tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how to apply the load uh, to a node, which is uh, away from the plate and then connect that node to the edges. Uh, we often apply the load in this manner. So I thought that uh, this tutorial will be useful for anybody who would like to model an RB3, uh, even in a complicated cases where there are a lot of nodes and you want to apply the load and distribute it equally. Uh, as you might be aware, the RB3 element distributes the load based on the stiffnesses rather than equally distributing the load. If the stiffness is equal, then the load gets uh, distributed equally. So here is a code uh, shown on the screen here. Uh, and the most important thing for uh, modeling is uh, you model a 0D element or 0 discrete element at the node where you want to apply the load because that particular node is not connected to any element. So it doesn't have any stiffness or mass. So you need to define certain stiffness and mass to that one. Uh, for, for the solver to compute the problem and you connect that to the other nodes of the plate through the RB3 element. I'll show you how it has been done uh, in the commands within the Salome Mecca. Uh, within the Salome Mecca, so the code abstract option, uh, sorry, before I do that, I'll show you the groups that I have defined. So what I have defined is I have defined the uh, fixed edge group for applying the fixed boundary condition. I have the group called load edge, where the load will be distributed into the plate. I have a group for the node where the 0D element is uh, defined as load point. And uh, this is where the load is applied. If I go back to the Salome Meccano and code aster, So the way you apply this uh, boundary condition uh, is um, within the loads. You have the RB3 option there. So that's the one. And here you define the parameters. So you define the uh, master node and you define the slave nodes and you define the degrees of freedom that you want to transfer the load and uh, the coefficients that go with it in this load. In this case, it is a simple problem where I have you just given a uh, coefficient of one to distribute the load uh, in all degrees of freedom. But you can change that uh, depending upon the needs of the problem. And the uh, rest of the problem is same. So I have solved the problem and I was able to view the results, which I will quickly show you here. So within the Paravis, uh, as you can see, I have used the selection display inspector option to see the results or the nodal forces that are applied following on that one. So the load was actually applied was, uh, uh, as you can see the code here. So the load applied was on the fixed edge, which is uh, 25,000 Newton, and it is equally distributed to the five nodes, which is what you can see in the um, output here. So you can use this code to kind of um, model it in other cases. And, uh, that's all I wanted to show in this uh, short tutorial. Hope uh, this tutorial is uh, helpful to you. Thanks for watching.